Super Mario 64 Beyond the Cursed Mirror has been released with great success so far. People seem to really be enjoying my ROM hack, leaving good reviews. So I have decided to make a content update for my hack, adding a new game plus mode. The update is available right now if you want to skip the showcase and play it immediately. Essentially, what changes in New Game Plus is that many aspects of the hacks are randomized. Level paintings, costume locations, and badge shops are all shuffled at random. So, at the start of the game, the first two levels available could be a variety of different courses. Also, since costumes are randomized, that means that the default Mario costume is also randomized. Your starter costume will likely be a random costume and you'll have to find the default Mario elsewhere out in the world. One last important thing to shake things up is the addition of rules. Every seed of New Game Plus has two positive rules and four negative rules. The positive rules remove some of the tedium of the hack, and the negative rules make the hack more challenging. If you want the ultimate challenge, you can play on seed 255, which will enable all 10 negative rules and no positive rules. Only go for Seed 255 if you're ready for an ultimate challenge. Alongside New Game Plus, I have addressed several problems and complaints people have had with the hack, so it should be an all around better experience. I will now do a demonstration of New Game Plus up to three power stars. All right, in order to start a New Game Plus game, you just go to a new file and select on New Game Plus, and you'll be able to select a seed with up and down. I'm gonna do seed 69 because, haha, funny number. So once we got our seed selected, we just press A, and we load in right away, and aha, look at that. I, I didn't choose this as, at all, I swear, but this is the Mario Builder 64 costume. Um, and as you can see, instead of Red Hot Reservoir and the farm level, we got a uh, Jurassic Savannah and uh, the Phantom Strider. When you load into New Game Plus mode, you, all the intro stuff is cut out, so you can just get right into the game. So, um, uh, I can instantly level up because the first level up is free. Um, now let's check out all the rules that are changed. Burning surfaces are extra hot. Some bosses are slightly buffed, which means harder boss fights. 120 coin stars. Ooh. Ooh, this is, this is the funniest condition of all. I was hesitant to do this, but I want New Game Plus to be kind of evil. So, when you die, you have a chance of just losing a power star. Um, the chances go up the more power stars you get, but if you don't have very many power stars, then, uh, if you don't have very many power stars, then you're probably not gonna lose one when you die. But on the plus side, we only have to deal with six red coin stars and... For those annoying minigames, you only have to do half the score. Let's see what costume we get. Ooh, I think this is the pirate costume. Oh no, this is the Shining Stars uh, Butler Mario costume. I, I kind of like this one, I'm going to keep this one. Alright, let's see what the bad shop has to offer, and ooh, slightly unlucky, we have a burden. But luckily our first badge is free, so let's get this uh, expensive one. And, uh, yeah, now we have, uh, this badge, the, the fire one, so fire damage won't be so bad. And let's check out all the freebies. Ooh, this is a really good seed, especially because you can mitigate the 120 coin stars with greed badge. But we need to go collect some coins first, so let's enter the level. A lot of people complained about not being able to know which level had a wallet, so I added a wallet to the file select. Once I collect the wallet, it'll be filled. Let's collect some coins so that uh, we can buy some badges. Oh yeah, we got a blue coin. That'll be nice for buying badges. And let's claim our very first power star. All these badges are pretty awesome, especially the boss slayer badge because we have the buffed bosses to deal with. Greed badge is the easiest cop I've ever seen. Like, this is such a good badge, especially for only one coin. <laughs> Watch how ridiculously easy this 100 coin star is gonna be. It's gonna be so insanely easy. You get a lot of blue coins here, so with the greed badge, it's, it's just gonna be so fast. Shame that we don't have the fall damage badge, though. So as you can see, we got 100 coins, but... Uh, since we have 120 coin stars, uh, basically that means we can't get the star until we get 120 coins. 
Alright, we literally need to find one more coin, and I'm pretty sure this bob -omb has a coin. Yep. Oh, wait, we ran out of mana. Whoops. Alright, this should be it. Alright, yeah, so the 100 coin stars are a little bit harder, but luckily we have the greed badge, which means uh, it's not a problem anymore. Since we have uh, 6 red coin stars as a bonus, we can uh, probably go for the red coin star pretty easily. And six. And since we have the six red coin star benefit, the red coin star was way, and I mean way faster to collect thanks to the six red coin star benefit. Ooh, we probably should have collected the wallet cause, oh yeah, we wasted a lot of coins. Oops. All right, now that we actually have that wallet collected, if we jump back into the painting, as you can see, the wallet is filled out. Let's see what other levels are randomized. As you can see, this is Immense Residence, which is normally Course 7, but is swapped with Course 3. And if we look behind the bookshelf, this is normally the Koopa Shell Cap Switch, but instead, we got Red Hot Reservoir in this little pit. Yo, this is actually sick. We got the rainbow costume for Red Hot Reservoir. This is definitely one of my favorite costumes, and the only costume in the game that's actually animated. Anyways, that's all I have to show for New Game Plus in Super Mario 64 Beyond the Cursed Mirror. I sincerely hope that this content update enhances your replays of this game. If you discover any interesting seeds, you can join my Discord server and share them with the community. My Patreons even got to play an early version of this content update, so if you want to sign up for any potential demos, you can join my Patreon. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching, and bye.